All right, so we have a little moment of truth here. Let me uh, show you the setup that I've got. Uh, so this is, let me try this here. This is, uh, oh, let's do that. This is a an A123 battery. Uh, it is a 100 amp hour, 28 volt battery. Uh, it is it is quite the beast. And I use it uh, in the shack when necessary. And I also use one of these in my Land Rover for 28 volts, etc. Uh, okay, and we've got this, as I showed in an earlier part of the video. I've got this connected up. I've got this 100 amp inline fuse, the uh, power pole connectors, and into the into the 28 volt with this new cable that I just made. Now the other thing you have to do is that there is a uh, there is a contactor, essentially a relay, that needs uh, needs to be energized. And the contactor, when it pulls in, it supplies the 28 volts to the motor part of the dynamotor. And so what I've just done here, of course, normally would be connected to uh, this, this, the system th all the way going through and then into this battery. But just for simplicities, I've uh, set up my little, uh, on the right side here, my little bench supply for um, 28 volts and uh, about a little less than three amps. It's only going to take about a third of an amp, about 300 milliamps to pull in that contactor and hold it. So I've got, uh, in fact, yeah, let's just, oops, wrong one there. Let's reduce this. No, no reason in case is a problem. Let's set it to an amp. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on, if you can see here, uh, this turns on uh, the, the, uh, the output of the power supply. And the output of the power supply goes to these alligator clips and a couple of wires going into pins three for uh, the positive and pin eight for the negative. And let's, uh, let's keep our fingers crossed and very exciting. Uh, let's see how much smoke and, and guts pour out of this. Here we go. Wow. There it is. Listen to that baby go. Now, it is sitting on a on a, a bench with uh, that's probably very uh, makes a lot of vibration so it's probably louder than I think it'll be once I get it uh, in another position and you can feel it, a lot of air is coming through here yeah a lot of a lot of cooling air is coming through and let's shut off the uh, we'll, we'll turn it off here at the power supply All right, you can hear the thing spin down. So look, this is this is the battle. This is the battle, and so far it looks like we've won this battle. And so the next phase of this is uh, instead of we'll remove these temporary wires, and we'll install this connector, this cable. Uh, this goes into the dynamotor and this goes into ART-13 and we'll actually power up the ART-13. That'll be uh, the next phase of all this. So, th so there you have it. Dynamotor galore. So the next thing we're going to do here is connect up the battery to the dynamotor. Uh, you can see the two green wires are the contactor that uh, uh, enables the motor. And just as we had before... On the look at the right hand uh, power supply, we've got that to, to 28 volts, 27 volts, and uh, we'll enable it here. But the other thing we're doing is, if you look at the red, this red wire is in pin one, and then that's going, uh, and then we've got ground attached to here, and that's going to my uh, voltmeter. And we're going to check, we want, first we want to check out the 400 volts. And then we'll do the 1150 volts and just to see if this, uh, if this is actually producing uh, the power we expect. So all we're going to do here is we're going to turn on, again, this bottom power supply. We'll kick the motor on. And then the top uh, display will show you the four. We're looking at the 400 volt uh, uh, power output. 
All right, and there you have it, 490, almost 500 volts. Uh, so that looks really good. And uh, now let's take a look at the higher voltage one. All right, so the next thing we're gonna look at is there's a 750 volt winding output on the dynamotor. And to do that, we move the red wire from pin two, I'm sorry, pin one to pin two. And then we added a white wire. The white wire is, um, uh, white wire is to pin 10. That's this kind of the 750 volt uh, output versus ground. I really should swap. Uh, sw let me let me just swap these wires for color wise. All right, so I just uh, just made it a little simpler. Uh, oops. So the red is 750. This is uh, sort of uh, the other side of 750. Let me let me fix that. All right, I just uh, stripped this a little longer, the white one, and doubled over the wire to make it a little thicker. So these are now in pretty good. So uh, again, the green ones will uh, get it, it will start it up. And I should see 750 volts now uh, between the white and the red. Uh, and which again are connected up to my voltmeter. And so let's start her up and see what we got. All right, and as you can see, we have 860 volts. Uh, again, on the high side, but uh, it seems to work fine. Um, so the way uh, the way it produces 1150, which is the uh, I think the plate voltage necessary here, is it combines the 400 with the 750, and um, layers one on top of the other to create 1150. Now I would test that, but uh, this voltmeter only allows a maximum input of a thousand volts. I don't know if you can see the little indicator right there right there thousand volts max so i'm uh i could get a high voltage probe but i don't think it's necessary so at this point the dynamo is doing what it's supposed to do and um uh, uh time to hook it all up and and see what the what it works what works and what doesn't work all right i, I think it's time to uh to get this party started here uh let's see what we've got here so here's the art 13 um, and coming and attached to it, I've got some cables. First is a, uh, just a little, uh, PL, uh, 259 pigtail with the inner conductor and the shield separated. And I've just got, uh, I happen to have these little, um, spade lugs on it. So I just stuck one into the antenna connection and the other into ground. Uh, and then this goes into a very short little cable here and into a little dummy watt, a dummy load watt meter, uh, capable of 150 watts. Uh, and now let's take a look at the other cable. So the other cable here is U7, which is, um, this cable, I was fortunate that this came with the setup. Um, and this has all the power, uh, going to it. And uh, if you follow along at home here, uh, that's about eight or ten feet of this. And I have that going into the back of the dynamotor. Uh, and here's the dynamotor and the battery that, that we've seen in, um, the previous, in previous videos, uh, all sitting on a little movable dolly. And uh, so I think I think we're good to try to start this up. Uh, we're, we're all we're all plugged in and ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do here is switch the emission from off to voice. That's sort of like the first uh, step, and let's let's see what happens. All right, luckily not too much. Uh, we've got this red light on, which means um, means the tuning is complete. That was no tuning, no no tuning actually occurred, so it must have been uh, turned off in the last position. Um, in, in this, uh, let's see what we have here. We're in channel one, so it must have been shut off in channel one. So there's not no more work to be done here. 
Okay, so let's just take a look at some, some things here. Uh, let's go to the battery voltage. And if you can see, let's turn that off. The battery should, should be on that little white dot. The power amp grid voltage should be somewhere within that little wider area. And then the plate voltage, I believe for CW should be in that white area. MCW in, in that little white area. And I'm not sure where voice or phone mode goes, probably in the red. I'll have to look that up in the manual. So let's, let's, let's use this uh, switch and let's switch it to battery voltage. And sure enough, the battery voltage is right on the money. Maybe a tad high, but I'm sure plenty good. Uh, okay, so the, the next thing is, um, let's see if we can get the dynamotor going. Uh, and let's put this from voice into C. Oh, actually, I think, um, I think if we were to use the key, which is plugged in here, right? I've got in the key uh, thing, I've got this old uh, Navy, I think, Navy key. It's very nice. I think if I were to key that, I think the dynamotor should go on here. Let's see. All right. Okay. So if we can get this in the same shot here together. Okay. So that's uh, that's in voice mode, uh, phone mode. If we go to CW, I think the uh, the dynamotor goes on all the time. Okay. And then you're free to key. All right. Something is not working though. See, I'm getting no antenna current. So let, let's look at. Uh, yeah, let's go to this. let's go into CW mode. Let's look at the at the grid at the other voltages. Grid. Okay, I'm getting zero grid voltage voltage and plate zero plate. Now well, let's put this back on voice. All right, so I believe I should have been able to see uh, grid voltage and plate voltage. Now that I'm, I'm on, uh, on voice again, let's see if there's any difference in this mode in plate volts, and I have to, I'll key up. I'm sorry, not plate, this is grid. So I'm still, I'm getting no, no grid at all. And let's see if there's anything on the plate, on the plate voltage when I key up in voice mode. A uh, little something. Looks like about 30 on that scale. I don't know whether that means 300 volts uh, or whether it's arbitrary. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to look this up in the manual. Uh, but either way, something does not seem right to me. And certainly no grid. And of course, no antenna current either, which you would expect if things were working right. Okay, so um, that isn't right. Uh, so I guess that uh, concludes this until the next thing. I think the next thing I'm going to do is uh, is take the uh, the receiver off the transmitter. I got. I guess I was a little optimistic there. Uh, and take the transmitter out, open it up, and very carefully look to see if there uh, what relays may be involved or. Um, you know, maybe bias resistors or so something that, um, that, that that's off kilter. Okay, be before we conclude for the day, I thought it would be fun to, uh, to, to look at the auto tuning mechanism, see if that's working uh, at all. Uh, so it's on, um, I've, I've just got this on voice. Uh, we don't really need the dynamotor for this. Uh, and so let's move this from channel one to channel two. I have no idea what that is. But let's just see what happens. Hot dog. My red light went back on, means that it's done. Uh, look, what they say is real, real radios have motors and need oil. Um, and let's uh, flip this back to one and let's uh, see what it does.
there you have it. So the auto-tune mechanism seems to work, at least the motors work. Uh, I'll have to look at the repeatability uh, and try to set some of the set some of these channels and, and see that it's repeatable and, and goes back to where I set it. But overall, uh, very pleased, very pleased. So that concludes it for tonight, and uh, we'll talk again soon.